So if the question is, how do I sharpen my photos? Then the answer is, well, let me show you. Only thing we have to do, of course, is pull up Photoshop and we're ready to go. Let's pull up a layer here. All right. Now, you take a look at this photo. It's a beautiful photo. But it's what a photographer would consider soft. It's what, when we look at it, it looks kind of blurry. But it's more of a softer image. So let's sharpen that up a little bit. The only thing we have to do, first and foremost, let's go ahead and convert this particular photo here. Filter, convert for smart filters. That's just in case we need to do anything to it in the future. So, you know, my motto, guys, is save, 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 or convert, convert, convert. That is it. Now, what we'll do, we'll head on up to filter, go down to sharpen, and unsharp mask. Now, the name itself is interesting, right? Because it sounds counterproductive, but it's not. And actually, unsharp mask doesn't act, actually add anything to the photos. What it does is it basically enhances the edges and adds um, contrast and pulls out the contrast of the image. So sharpens it, which is actually pretty cool. So this photo, let's zoom in a little bit, hit control. And click. OK, let's see what areas do we want to focus on? So let's put it all to zero. So the amount, of course, is the amount you do. The radius is how much it is. But if you do too much radius, let's show you what I'm saying. If you do too much of it, it'll create a halo effect and kind of make it look super dreamy. Now, if that's the look you're going for, that's fine. So on this particular photo, I'm going to go ahead and leave threshold down. Let's pull the radius way down. Good Lord. About seven would be fine. Crank the amount all the way up. You guys seeing this? Look at this. Brought all the details back. All the, that is amazing. So let's do it before and after. Here's the before or preview. Here's the after. Look at that. Just stunning. Now that, that's beautiful. So click OK. We're good on that one. That looks good. And, uh, actually, to ch check our work here, only thing we have to do, let's just turn smart, smart filters back on and off to do a preview of what we've done. Smart filters, here's with it on, there's with it off. On, off. That's a world of difference. One more thing I'm going to show you guys. So if you zoom in here and look at these glasses, right? So these are Tom Ford. That's what it looks like with the filter off. Turn it on. Night and day. That's amazing. All right, so we'll do one more real quick. I'm going to pull up this next layer. So I want you to pay attention to the pendant here and the hair. And if you zoom in, we're at about 75% or 80% here. You can see it's kind of, it's a little bit blurry a little bit or soft. And so what we can do, let's go ahead and convert this. Hit filter, convert for smart filters, and then head back up to filter on down to sharpen and unsharp mask. Let's pull the amount up a little. Already seeing a world of a difference. Let's zoom out. That's it. Hit OK. Let's see, move this down. Let's take a look at this little little pin thing or whatever it is right here. Let's toggle off, toggle back on. That's good. That is good. Face is more clear, background's more clear, everything seems to stand out. Let's check out the pendant, what I mentioned a little bit earlier. Off, 
on. Wow, makes a world of difference. So I know the name may be a little confusing, but unsharp masks can make those photos crispy. And I think that's a good place to stop. So if you want crispy, crispy photos, that's how you do it. Until next time, see you in the next video.